Hi everybody, it's Miss Chloe from Naples Regional Library. Welcome to today's edition of Collier Kids Read, where every weekday at 10 a.m. you can join a librarian reading you a story. Today, I have some stories about boats. If you've ever been on a boat, you know it's really fun to go out on the ocean or on the water. Today, we're gonna read some adventures about boats. Today's first book is called Off and Away by Kale Atkinson, published by Hyperion Books. Out at sea, there is a place where all the messages in bottles gather. Joe's dad made sure every bottle got to the right home. He always returned with a new story of adventure to share. Joe wanted to be a great adventurer just like him. There was only one thing that kept her from getting out on the seas a fear of what lurked below. Joe's imagination had always gone overboard. So as much as she wanted to, she never joined her dad out at sea. And that's the way things were until Joe's dad came down with a severe sea cold. He's got clammy eyes and urchin itch, coral fever, seaweed chills, and even barnacle tongue. Day after day, he tried heading out, but he needed rest. Bottles began to pile up. Everyone was counting on him. If he couldn't deliver, then who could? Joe's legs were shaking like jellyfish and sea butterflies filled her insides from head to toe. One at a time, she carefully loaded the bottles into the boat. Taking a deep breath in, she cast off. As she sailed toward her first delivery, tentacles full of sticky suckers curled out of the water. Joe was certain this would be the end of her. But wait, it was a squid named Ira. Thank you, said Ira. She's got her bottle. The next delivery was for a beast big as an island. Oh, it was an island. That's not very scary. Before long, the monsters Joe kept seeing disappeared. Hmm. Only one bottle was left, but this one was different. This bottle was for Blackwater Bay, a place even Joe's dad hadn't sailed. Treacherous waters and sunken ships surrounded the dark bay. The winds grew stronger and the sea tossed Joe like a minnow. Oh no. The boat was driftwood. The last bottle was gone. And worst of all, she had let her dad down. I'm no adventurer, she sang. Things couldn't get worse. Or could they? Oh no, who is that? This time it wasn't her imagination. Did you drop this, the monster's asking. Joe tried to speak, but no words came out. The gigantic creature turned to leave. Wait, she shouted, this is for you. Holy tuna, could it be? The monster carefully pulled a light bulb out from the bottle. Gosh, it's been so lonely here in the dark. No one has dared sail here to deliver a new bulb. In an instant, the bay lit up. He smiled, no one except you. Soon the bay filled with visitors guided by the lighthouse. To show his thanks, Joe's new friend did his best to repair her boat. It's the least I can do, he said. Joe set sail for home. There's no monsters anymore, they're just fish and returned with a monster of a story to share. The end. Good job, everybody. That was a good story. I've got a little rhyme about boats here. Will you do some counting with me? Okay. I've got one little sailboat with a sail so blue. Along came another and then there were, how many are there? Then there were two. Two little sailboats sailing on the sea. Along came another and then there were, how many? Then there were three. Three little sailboats sailing close to the shore.
along came another and then there were how many sailboats are there now four four little sailboats can't wait to arrive along came another and then there were let's count them one two three four five five little sailboats in the wind they rock it's stormy out here let's go back to the dock good job everybody our next book is called ready set sail by meg fleming grab your life vest zip that zipper throw the bow line to your skipper Keep your compass close at hand. Shove away from rock and sand. Row the dinghy to your boat. Work together, stay afloat. Shout your orders loud and fast. Hoist the mainsail up the mast. Wind starts puffing, don't delay. Rudder ready. Anchors away. Main sheet flutters, catch that gale. Want it faster? Trim the sail. Speeding, slipping, leaning, tipping. Perfect time for tiptoe dipping. Find an island, dive, explore. Someone spouting near the shore. Who is that? Looks like a whale. I see some buried treasure down there. Lots of stuff to find. Sails are calling, lines are free. Find the wind, know the sea. Mind the traffic, go or stay. Sailboats get the right of way. Winds of change may slow your zoom. Ready about, they're gonna turn around. Watch that boom, oh no. Ducking heads and switching places. Salty mist on homeward faces. Catch your buoy, anchor down, tie things up and head to town. Time to tell about that whale. Every sailor has a tail. The end. That was a good story, you guys. So I do have a craft for you. You are going to be able to make your own boat at home and we're gonna see if it floats. All you need is popsicle sticks, a straw and a piece of paper. So I've just glued some popsicle sticks together. I've created a little base on the bottom in the hopes that it'll float. And I glued a straw and some paper together for our sail. And I have a bowl full of water here. Let's see if it floats. Oh, yes. So you can see since we used colored popsicle sticks, the colors are bleeding into the water, which might be fun time to uh, experiment in the bathtub. So let us know if you make this boat at home, if it floats. We are curious to see how you would make your own boat. Thanks for reading with me today. We had good fun reading about our boat books. So we will see you tomorrow for another edition of Collier Kids Read. Bye everybody.